I'm just like totally fascinating about the world of like small uh, publisher versus big. Oh, okay. yeah, we were talking about that. Um, you know, Nick is a small press publisher. Helm Publishing that did Strange Days is a small press publisher. Uh, it's very, very difficult to break into the large publishing houses. They want to keep publishing the same things over and over and over again. It's like the movies with this, you know, the movies they keep Remake. redoing and remaking and, and over and over and over again. They say they want something new, but they really don't. Um, and you cannot break into a large publisher without an agent. And that's one reason why with Alaric, um, Alaric Monster Hunter, I consider it kind of my breakout novel. And I really wanted that to be with a large publisher. And that's one reason why I was looking for an agent. So when Brendan contacted me, I said, man, the timing couldn't be better. Uh, but at the same time, I really believe in the small press publishers as well. They're putting out very very good quality books that people aren't reading. Um, and if you see a book that's not put out by, let's name's Dahl, Bantam, uh, Dell, all those big publishers, Harper, uh, was it Harper Collins or something like that? Uh, if you see a, a book that's put out by a publisher that you don't recognize, you know, don't get that to stop you from picking it up. Even And if it's an author you don't recognize, I've gone through a period where I only pick up authors and read authors that I've never heard of uh, because I'm tired of seeing the same books in the bookstore. Every book that uh, Stephen King has ever written is in the bookstore. There's no book space for new authors. Uh, so I'm always looking for new authors. And uh, the small press publishers are the place where you find the really good new authors. Yes. Guarantee you. Um, and with small press publishers, you still have the quality control that you have with the big publishers. You still have editors that have to go through it, make sure that it's, uh, you know, something that they can be proud to put out. Wow. They're not going to put it out unless they can be proud of it, too. So, you know, it has the quality control and that's going to be a quality book. Oh, yeah, and that's the whole good thing, too, because. You know, it's like, oops, as my co-host accidentally hits the camera as it looks like an earthquake. I don't know. No, um, It was. It, it was. was it That's right. We're dead. This is the ghost story of Joe Flynn's show. Uh, no, but yeah, it's like, you know, as I would say, you know, like, for example, like, you know, you got some great reviews from fellow authors. And of course, you just got nominated or were you nominated for a stoker? Yeah, well, I've had what they do is... Um, members of the Horror Writers Association can nominate uh, books for the Stoke, Bram Stoker Awards. And I have collected several nominations. And it's the first time that anything that I've written has ever been nominated for a Stoker. So I'm really, can I say I'm stoked about that? Yes, you can. I'm stoked about being nominated for a Stoker because um, obviously Bram Stoker is the, you know, the king of horror with Dracula. Yeah. Uh, even though Edgar Allan Poe is the father of horror, Bram Stoker is the king of horror. Right. So uh, it's really great to be nominated for a Bram Stoker Award, um, hoping to make the final ballot. And have had the main thing, though, is I've had people that I really respect in the business say some really good things about Holiday Madness, um, which kind of surprised me because it was just a collection of short stories I kind of put together that I wrote over the years for to read on the radio and never really expected uh, big things from it. But it's gotten people talking and has become a bigger thing than I expected it to be. I'm going to read. You know, yeah, go ahead. I'm just going to read uh, Jonathan Mayberry, who is a multiple Bram Stoker Award winner, uh, said this. I always like when other people say stuff. I don't want to say stuff about my writing because that just sounds like I'm being cocky. Right. Uh, so I'll, I'll read what somebody else says. Uh, Fred Weehy proves Halloween is no longer the scariest time of the year. Holiday madness is weird, spooky, wild, and outrageous. Very highly recommended. That's Jonathan Mayberry, uh, who is a I, he's won the Stoker Award three times. Wow! Congratulations. 